Hi friends, how are you? I hope that you all are good, you all are well in this adverse situation which has been going through our nation that is COVID-19. I'd like to request all my students to stay home, wash your hands frequently and stay safe. So let's start. My name is Shubhaprata Pramanik and I'm going to take class of computer in class 3. So before starting my class, I'd like to tell something about the computer. I'd like, I'd like to clarify what is a computer. A computer is a machine which processes data according to the instructions given by us. We are having IQ power of ourselves. But a computer doesn't have any IQ power. It works according to the instructions. It works only on the instructions given by the user. It only follows the instructions given by the user. So it processes data and gives us a result as output. So in short we can say that computer is a data processing machine which processes data according to the instructions given by us. Now moving on to the next part I'd like to say that computers nowadays computers are used very widely in a very uh, wide range of manner. Wherever you will go you can see there is a computer. There are various works done in computer. Now I'd like to tell the different arenas where computers are being used. Computers play a very important role in our everyday life. A few areas where computers are used very widely I'm going to say. Number one is home. At home we use computers for drawing pictures, typing letters, typing assignments, playing music, playing movies, uh, booking tickets, searching for information, etc. Next, in shops, malls, for storing lists of items, making bills and so on. In schools, for typing circulars and test papers, preparing the timetables, maintaining fee records of the students, teaching new concepts and so on. Office and banks for sending and receiving emails, storing records of the customers, doing calculations and so on. Railway stations and airports for keeping track of arrival and departure details of the trains, of the flights, number of seats available in the train, number of seats available in the planes, etc. are maintained through these computers. In hospitals for maintaining the records of patients, for testing eyes, for preparation of reports, etc. are done through these computers. Scientific researchers and for scientific researchers for uh, launching satellites, weather forecasting, so on and so on, computers are used in a very wide range. Students, do you know who was the father of computer? Who is known as the father of computer? The father of computer. The person who is known as the father of computer is Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage. He is known as the father of computer. Now, let's go to our next topic that is characteristics of a computer. A computer has certain characteristics that make it different from other machines. Of course a computer has certain char characteristics which make it different from other machines. The first characteristics which a computer have is speed. The speed of the computer. The speed of the computer is very high. It can do millions and millions of work within a second. Next 
is the accuracy and reliability. A computer always gives correct results if we give proper instructions to it. Yes, of course, a computer always gives a perfect result. If we give proper instruction, we can definitely rely on a computer that a computer is going to give a perfect and accurate result to us. Next, diligence. A computer doesn't get tired. It can work for long hours and can repeat same work again and again. You consider yourself. If you are asked to do a same work again and again, then what you will say? After doing three or four times, you will say, Oh no, I am getting tired, I can't do so. But a computer never gets tired. It does its work. It does its work. It does its same work again and again. Next is the huge storage capacity. A computer can store lots of data which can be used as and when required. A computer can store a large number of data. In computer, you can store a large number of pictures, a large number of audios, a large number of videos, a large number of documents. As well as, you can also use, you can also use those files when and where it is required. You have kept a file two years back. Now after two years, if you are going to search that file, you will get that file. Three years back, you have kept a hundred number of pictures. Now if you are going to search those hundred number of pictures, you will get that. So you are using it. Whatever you have stored inside a computer, you can use it whenever you want. Okay. Now, moving to the multitasking part. The multitasking is one of the uh, characteristic of computer. Here, a computer easily performs various tasks at a time. At a time. Means, in the same time. When you are typing something, you can play a song behind. The song is playing as well as you are typing. Suppose you are copying some files from one folder to another folder and you are typing in that very moment. Both the works are done at the same time and in that very moment you are playing a song also. Three works are done at the same time. The computer is a multitasking device. It can process the tasks. It can process multiple tasks at a time. That's why it is multitasking system. Input devices are those devices which lets us give input to the computer, which lets us provide the instruction to the computer, which lets us to input the instruction inside the computer. Now see, if we have to make the computer work, then we need to give the computer instructions. Isn't it or not? If we have to make a computer work, then we have to give instruction to the computer. Then how we will give the com give instruction to the computer? Through the input devices. The work of the input device says is to connect the user and the computer. So that the user, so that we, the user, can give instruction to the computer through those input devices. Now, working of a computer. A computer works on the principle of IPO. Now you will say what is the meaning of IPO? It is the principle based on which the computer works. IPO is a principle on which the computer works is based. The full form of IPO is input, process and output. Input. We are giving input to the computer. That is, we are inputting instructions to the computer through keyboard or mouse. The computer is processing it. The computer is processing those data, those instructions 
and making it a meaningful one and giving us the result through output the work of the processor is to process the data the processor processes the data and then gives us the output through the output devices so the cycle goes on we give input to the computer the computer processes it and then again it gives us the output again we give input to the computer the computer processes it and then again it gives us the output again we give the input to the computer the computer processes it and then it gives us the output like this the ipo ipo input process output circle goes on